Okay, you guys, um, I got a cell phone booster for my phone because, uh, there's places that I go where you can't even dial out for 911, much less anything else. So I just wanted to basically put it in a video and show you how it went. Okay, I'm going to open this box now. I don't know if this is the best camera angle for you guys to see what I'm doing, but let's see here. I really don't know what's in this thing. I've never had one of these or anything like it. Okay, I guess that's the user manual. Uh, some weird Velcro stuff. That must be one of the antennas. Phew, this thing stinks. Phew. And I guess that's for the phone. And it gives you directions. Okay, and um, all sorts of wire. Great. Hopefully I can do this. Uh, this looks pretty dang complicated. All right. Okay, I read the thing and it says that you're supposed to put it on top of your roof towards the back and the middle. And that's kind of impossible on my van because my solar panel hangs pretty much all the way to the end of the middle of the roof in the back of the van. Also, because my door back there, the rubber around it is so bad even after fixing it, I don't want to stick a wire through it. So... What I've decided to do is take the adhesive that they gave me for the thing and stick it on kind of the middle on the on the passenger side on the roof and then I can make it go through that side the side door so that it um yeah <laughs> so that if it does cause it to leak or whatever when it rains it's not going to do much harm right there um and also, hopefully it'll still work. I know that it's supposed to be an omnidirectional antenna, so it needs to be able to have a clear space all the way around it, but on my van, that's pretty much impossible. So I'm just going to do the best I can, and we'll uh, take it from there. All right. Okay, there it is on there. The best I can do, because if I put it in the middle, like I said, it's going to cover my solar that looks pretty dang stupid. <laughs> I hope this darn thing works at least a little bit. Better be worth it. Alrighty, so it's going down in the door like this. I'm hoping that's enough slack. I'm gonna pull it up just a tiny bit. They say um, on the package that it's okay to slam it into a door. So I'm hoping that's all gonna be alright. So we're going to check it here and see. That doesn't look too bad. I think it might be all right. Okay. So that's good. Okay, so the line is coming up through the door. And see my little channel here that I never filled in? It's like I said before, it's the factory... Um, area where they normally would run wire. So I'm just running the line from the outside antenna and there's the booster and the booster is actually small enough to go fit in this channel, which is great because if I need to move it, I don't want to have to worry about it being stuck down with the Velcro and have that Velcro not being able to come off of where it was because I don't know if I want to keep this right here yet. And um, if I have to unstick the antenna, that's fine. I've got, uh, you know, scotch double-sided sticky tape that's probably better than what's on the thing anyway, so I could always fix it. But yeah, this, I think for now, is going to work. And it'll keep it up out of the way, you know, tuck the wires. I might want to just, um, I don't know, put something here like a magnet or a tie or something to keep that one in. And here's another cool thing. Um, you know... They show a lot of videos about everybody gutting their vans and their buses and all that kind of stuff, but it's not always to your advantage. Um, and here's a little example of why. Um, when I got this van, there was wiring, and it was 
one of it, some of it was from the lamp that was, you know, right here, um, the overhead lamp. And also they ran speaker wire on these things. He had a lot of speakers in this van and I took them out because I don't need that many speakers. <laughs> it's just a van. We don't need it to be like, yeah. Anyway, so um, there's these little, you know, clip things where wires are supposed to hang. And so that's what I did. I clipped them back in there and they go and it goes all the way across and all the way down. And that's where all of my power is right there. And I have to plug it in right over here. So it works out perfect because I don't want it up on the dashboard like it's supposed to be. Uh, because what if I want to use my phone when I'm all the way back here and I'm in stealth mode or whatever. So I don't want it up on the dashboard. So that's why it's back here. All right. Just wanted to let you guys see that. I think that that's pretty useful. A pretty good idea. You know, don't always take everything out of your van. You know, <laughs> you might need it later. All right. As you can see, I took and put the wires all the way across. Then I did the same thing here. I tucked them down in the channel here. Um, for some reason, this end really wanted to just tuck in between the high top and the roof and then go down a little further, and that's fine as long as it stays. Like I said, everything in my van is pretty much an experiment. Um, and then I just make it go all the way down, which is really hard to see. And then it comes out here. And this is my work area. So there's, as you can see, there's plenty of slack. So, um, yeah, I think it might work. Uh, now we just need to find a place where there's less cell phone service so I can test it out. It's a neat little thing. It comes with extra little doodads to mount it to the dash in a different way. I'm not quite sure how I want to mount it yet, so I'm just not going to do it. Um... But yeah, like I said, it went all the way through this um, open channel here on this side too. And all the way down. And I have plenty of room. I can move it to any spot in my work area. Because I use this old dresser for just about everything. Um, including my work. So yeah, that's great. Hopefully uh, it'll work out. Okay, so far so good. Um, I went from three bars to five bars in this place. So we're going to test it out um, in a spot where I barely even get a blip and see what happens. Alright, I'm stoked you guys. It went from no bars to two and then it went to three. I don't even know how it went to three, but that's it did it. So yay, I'm free. I can work anywhere I want now. I'm so, so stoked. Alright. Yeah. And I didn't even get the RV version. I got the little tiny car one. And I think the only difference is you can dock all kinds of cell phones to the RV version. Other than that, I, I don't see any difference. Don't pay $400 for something you don't have to. But yeah, uh, as you can tell, I'm extremely, extremely excited about this. So now um, it just totally opens up my camping spots for this summer. I mean, big time. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching and putting up with this. But oh my gosh, I am just so stoked. Okay, so I've been using that cell phone booster uh, for about a couple, well, maybe about a week now. And it's working out pretty good. Uh, there are spots that I like to camp that, I, like I said before, I couldn't even dial out. Uh, so now at least I get one or two bars there, which is great because it makes me feel a lot better about staying there. And then in the other spots where I get maybe one or two bars, the, it brings it up to three, sometimes all the way up to five. So that's really, really nice. And so that's going to help me out big time with the channel because now I can upload it pretty much well, almost anywhere that I go, except for a couple of places. So I'm very, very happy and pleased with it. Um, and I'm so glad that it works because I'm telling you, it's like 200 bucks for something like that. So that wasn't like a, a purchase that I take lightly. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. If you're thinking about a cell phone booster, if it's just you on the road, don't get the RV one, even if you're in an RV because you don't need it. The uh, the really big difference on those is they've got longer cords on them and they also have spots for multiple devices. Unless you need a spot for multiple devices, 
just get the cheaper one. It's only, it's half the price. And so, yeah, mine is the single one because it's just me, one cell phone for right now. I didn't need to spend four or $500 on a multiple, you know, device thing. So that's, that's basically really the only advice I have to give on these. Other than that, I think that they work pretty good. I tried the Wilson Sleek one or Wee Boost or whatever it's called, uh, because, you know, that's the one that a lot of the nomads out there rely on and use, and they all say good things about it. But I'm sure that there's other ones out there that are probably just as good. But like I said, unless you need to um, have a booster for multiple devices, don't get them. They just are going to cost you more. So yeah, so just a little heads up on that. And I hope you guys got something out of it. I'm um, sorry the video is kind of weird and choppy, but you know, <laughs> I didn't really know what I was doing with this thing. So I just, uh, yeah, I just put it in there. All right. Have a nice day, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.